Alright, let's give some thoughts on this. Yesterday I laned against Druchut and I won lane without him even making a single mistake. People complain that top lane is a broken role, whilst I agree that the items and champion can be extremely opposive and broken. I want to take you guys top through my tops and why I believe the top lane generally simply has less impact than other lanes. Other roles. Well, that's pretty obvious why. Unless you're versing an opponent that is inferior to you, you're mostly going to be reliant on matchup and jungle merge instead of just a 1v1 laning. Whilst this is also true for other loans, as a top laner on an island you don't get any other options in the game and you're just spectating for 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I already know where he's going and I agree. Okay, let's see. Alright, uh, welcome everybody. I want to talk about top lane and why I feel like uh, I believe that top lane is not as broken as people make it out to be. Now, the disclaimer I want to make is I think top lane champions uh, are extremely strong. I think top lane bruiser items are extremely strong as well. And I think the role in itself, if you get ahead as a top laner, is very hard to deal with. And that I agree with. Um, however, I feel like to get to that point, especially the higher elo you go, or you play against opponents that match your skill, uh, the less prevalent this will be, or the less options you have. And that's why I feel like the role, compared to other roles, has so much less impact. For example, as a jungler... Yes, it does. Okay, so I know what she's trying to say. TLDR here is that a lot of times on top lane, when you're laning against an opponent, th the lane will just go slightly in favor of somebody, but nothing is going to realistically happen, right? Because that is just, top lane's agency is just way lower than any other role's agency in that stage of the game. Top lane usually, when in high level, when top lane usually carries, either it is through early game, but that is more rare, usually actually top laners carry mid to late game more these days able to impact every role that you have and i want to show you guys some concepts in this game that lead to i play against Drew to this game him losing the lane without making a single mistake so if i'm playing here uh okay that's probably not true he probably did make mistakes but okay look at right my jungler is pathing from bot into top and Lilia is most likely clearing from uh, top to bot, right? So that means that Drutud right now is weak side, and as a result of that, he doesn't want to play too aggressive in the lane. In the sense that if he gets priority and he ends up laying around here at the 3-minute mark, he could be ganked behind him, he's playing Flash Knight, and his lane is pretty much over. So simply, just because how the jungles are already pathing in the early game, he is forced to play more in a passive way in the first 4 minutes of the game, which are arguably also the most important in the laning phase, by the way. So, just in terms of mindset in the first concept here, just because of the early jungle pathing that is playing out, uh, he has to basically play a lot safer in the early game, right? So. What that leads to is uh, here we're just, we're just laning, and uh, Lilia is doing a rep off into Krux, into, uh, sorry, Raptor's Krux, a uh, rep off, and then she's going to path into the bot, right? Whereas Kazakh is just full clearing into the top. Okay, so again, if I were to lose half my HP, and he were to lose half his HP, it is beneficial for me simply because I'm strong side, right? I will have my jungler on top side, he will not. So he is not allowed to take trades. That's the first content I want to talk about. So the first clear of junglers already impacts so much how top laners can play in the early game. Of course, this counts for every lane, but uh, you, you'll see the points that I'm going to make. So here, even on weak side, um, he's playing very well here. On space, we got the W off, so the early trades went in his favor, but still doesn't really too much because I have the priority, and I'm able to just play the lane out as is, right? So, uh, what I'm doing yeah. here without going too in-depth is I'm just doing a 4th wave crash and um, I'll talk about later why I do the 4th wave crash here in this game so I'm slow pushing this wave waiting for this wave to come and I'll do my 4th wave crash, right? Um, and now the first time we see Lilia on the map right here is at 250 which is already extremely late as you can see Kha'Zix is already on 4 camps Lilia still yet to go to her bot side jungle we see Lilia on the map for the first time, right? And I've, everybody can verify right now that she's on these 3 camps we also had a ward here and that she's ganking mid right here, perfect so everybody knows also right now that Lilia after doing this mid gank will be going towards her bot side, right? So yes. I'm doing the slow push and then after wave number four, I'm going to just crash this and I'm going to recall. Uh, I could have some other options too. I could, for example, look to proxy this wave uh, because I'm driven with a lot of wave in the early game. But however, this game, I just decided to recall and play for the bounce because Lilia's already delayed and Kha'Zix is still topside, right? So okay. very effective mind, just remember, right? So Drew played this early game really well. Uh, multiple multiple things. Um, he was playing weak side. He didn't look too, for too many equal health trades, right? So it's beneficial for him. He stayed high HP. He's farmed well. He traded well. So now he's also able to play out this bounce. Keep in mind, he's playing flash at night, right? So now he should be in an advantageous position simply because he had to play safe in the early game. But now on this bounce, he will hit the high than I do. And as a result of that, he's able to play more more aggressive here, right? However, the problem okay. comes when his jungler is still bot side at this point of the game, and Kha'Zix right now, so what should happen, usually around the 4 minute timer, is Lilia would have cleared into bot, right? Full cleared into bot. Scuttle spawns 330, she takes a scuttle, maybe looks for a gank bot, maybe looks for a gank mid, recalls, and, come back into, and comes back into top side. Similarly here, how the Kha'Zix should recall and go back to his respawning bot side camps, right? So Lilia yes. should recall to top side, Kha'Zix should recall go bot side, and then on this bounce, it should be very hard for me to play, because Lilia should be here, Kha'Zix should be This is not gonna happen, he's gonna, gonna get ganked. The first four waves. Now going forward here, I'm supposed to play more safe, right? With, with the jungle pathing, because you see here, these camps are responding, these camps are responding. However, Lilia peeks her head out here again, and again, I verified Lilia's position with only 22 CS. So she is missing two camps still, because a full clear would be 28 CS, she has two alt CS, maybe because she took a minion uh, here, or like a ward somewhere. So a full clear is 28 CS, so right here, with Lilia picking both sides with 20 CS, I know she still has to collect two both side camps before she would ever come back up. Okay, I mean, I know what's going to happen, but the video is already five minutes talking, but I get why he has to do it. Swap! I can't swap. This is so annoying. This champs like bug. Okay. Spots this too, so JP, again, thanks here, for which is already extremely good for me. So even this on this bounce where he is supposed to finally be able to play the game, he still cannot play out the game, right? All right. 
Lilia is clearing her both camps now, very standard, but I have the item lead now, I have sustain lead, he's low on mana, the wave is pushing towards me, and that is the result of the fourth wave crash, to explain that a little bit more in depth too, is here after I crash the wave, right, and the wave is going to be in this position, ultimately his next minion wave is always going to arrive faster, thus the wave will push back into me, and this is forced, right, after I've done the fourth wave crash, I walk back into lane, I've lost two, two melee minions here of EXP, but the wave is pushing towards me. So, um, he is forced to play out this bounce, right, because I did the 4th wave crash. But again, usually, this is a good position for him because his jungler should be here. In fact, it's still reversed, he's still gonna play out the game, so he loses his HP, loses mana, and now you see, he is basically impossible to play out this bounce for him. It's really hard for him. Um... Yeah, right? Thus far, I would still argue he's made zero mistakes. But you see already where this is leading to for his lane phase, right? Now, Lilia takes her two both side camps, which she should. And then, right now, you see Camille pretty much cannot play out the game. And this is not- This is also some dynamics of some matchup. Because he made a single mistake, this is all because of jungle interaction, right? All right. Uh, it's not just jungle interaction. This is not a realistic just jungle interaction. Let's say he was playing Aralia, he could easily resist and counter push the wave really fast. Because she has one of the fastest wave clears in the game. Camille just has no fucking wave clear early game. I would also to talk about the matchup, uh, it, it's pretty much like a, it's a skill matchup in the early game. Okay. So here he tries to push it out, but I'm simply more healthy, right? I put, push, punish him here in a small trait, and now he's basically forced to recall, but I'm going to hard push, so if he recalls, he's going to lose a full cannon wave, I'm perhaps going to play it as well. So he decides to stay, but even that- Yeah, but he's also playing Camille with Ignite is bad for him. Now, another tiny detail here, or a big detail rather, is that Lilia shows herself for the third time on the map here. So after taking her camps, she again shows here on the map and even shows mid. So at five minutes, Lilia still shown both sides, hasn't recalled yet, so I still know the jungle tempo, right? And as a result of this, I'm also still allowed to play aggressive here. Lilia should have already been top side again. And now this leads to me just, you know, being in this much of a good position. And uh, now I cancel space with the guy as well. He's forced to recall because I'm getting level six on this wave, he knows that. So as a end result of all of this right now, I'm going to be 20 CS up and the plate. However, Drutut made zero mistakes. This was all Jungle interaction, right? And this is my issue with a top. I mean, I mean, you can say he made zero mistakes, but he opted into playing Camille with Ignite, and this is just a weakness of the champion. Planer, or the top and experience. And at least now we're playing a skill matchup, right? Imagine instead of a Riven Kha'Zix, he was playing against, I don't know, something like Rumble Jarvan, right? A really strong early game, ganking jungler, and a super hard counter matchup. How do you play the game in those scenarios, right? It's all reliant in a way on jungle. So now, to top it all off, on this bounce here, right? This bounce is forced again, where he's pushing it to me, Nautilus shows up, so he dies. Right, he's slow pushing into hard push, which is what he should do, but then he just dies because of Nautilus from. In the meantime, his team is still losing everywhere too. So, this is why top lane feels so frustrating to play for so many players, because if player skill is even, you're more so reliant on the matchup that you play, and the, I guess, the mercy of the junglers, right? Uh, I would say that Lilia, of course, had a super bad path in this game, and she made a lot of mistakes. But her making mistakes makes it so Drudu can play, even though he made zero mistakes. If you look at the stats here after I pushed this in, right? I am 30 CS up and two plates, and he couldn't do anything about it. And that is why top... His point is true, but... You can't ignore the fact that the guy's playing Camille, and Camille has just such limited options as a champion, especially when you play with Ignite, like, this is just going to happen. Like, you play two top laners with Ignite, like, yeah, it's very snowbally. And obviously, the moment one will get the lead, the other one's gonna lose way more than if they play TP. This is why majority of champions will always take TP. And I agree, in a lot of these games, you are just jungle reliant, this is not, like, false or something. It is true. It is true.